Greetings, everyone. This is Mythical Daka, and I'm bringing to you from my library, Loadout. This is a third-person shooter developed by Edge of Reality. Uh, it's available on Steam free-to-play. That's actually uh, pretty awesome because it's a pretty over-the-top hilarious game. And I'd really hate for anyone to have to miss out on it because they have to pay for it. <laughs> Not everyone has money lying around for video games all the time, so free-to-play, very good. Um, and like all free-to-play games, it has uh, premium content that you can buy. Uh, but it's actually a pretty good business model, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, you'll notice the handsome gentleman standing here who looks a bit like uh, a portly Mr. T with an epic beard. Uh, that's actually what my character looks like in-game. And whichever one you currently had loaded up, that's what's going to show up on your uh, uh, homepage here. Now, the big selling point of this game is weapon crafting. You can make your own guns. So here are the weapons that I have right now. Over here, this is just a rocket launcher with a laser-guided uh, system. Um, and agile-type rockets, meaning they're a little more maneuverable than your standard rockets. And I get this over here that's basically uh, your typical sniper rifle, bolt-action uh Loading system, semi-automatic trigger, uh, dampening stock for reduced recoil, stuff like that. And I got this guy right here. My personal favorite gun. Uh, this is the finest gun ever made. It is a it is an incendiary sniper minigun. I call it Vera. Bonus points if you get the reference. So let's look at the options here. You got a basic uh, barrel here. This is uh, the basic gun that you get is just an assault rifle. So this is the basic uh, barrel that would come with it. And you got a light assault uh, variant that gives you a higher rate of fire, a little bit less damage. You got the rotating barrel set up here that I'm using for more DACA. You got a sniper uh, barrel here. And all this kind of stuff. These scatter, uh, scatter, wide scatter, and narrow scatter. This is all for uh, basically shotgun uh, configurations. And silencer, obviously, if uh, you don't want to get picked up by the enemy as easily. Headhunter is a special sniper barrel that gives you a bonus damage to headshots, uh, but with much higher recoil and rate of fire. Now, obviously, if you're playing with a sniper rifle, you're probably not caring about rate of fire. You should probably actually be using a bolt action anyway. You got these scopes, which I threw on this weapon just because. You also get this bio scanner because you can actually make weapons with healing bullets. Yes, healing bullets. Or healing lasers, or healing rockets. Because it's that kind of game. And you also have this x ray sensor so that you can see players through walls. Or you can have the basic iron sights. So there's an upgraded scope. I uh, can't actually look at those. You can actually look at what you have unlocked and what the next step up on the tech tree is. So in the, in the case of the scope, I have the recon scope. I can look at the optical zoom scope, but I can't look at the long range scope yet because I don't have the optical zoom unlocked. There are various stocks with different effects. I'm currently using the compact stock on this because it gives me better hip fire accuracy. My sniper rifle uses the dampening stock and eventually I'll upgrade that to shock absorbing because that gives you uh, reduced recoil. And magazines. You have standard, which is just a 50 round clip. You have shell loading, where you individually load the bullets into the chamber. Or rather, it's a smaller magazine, I should say. Um, I haven't really played around with it too much. High capacity, which obviously on a minigun you really want to have. The more bullets you, you carry, the less damage they do. But I'm also firing a hell of a lot faster. And then you got bolt action, which is literally a single shot magazine. 
and you have to reload the chamber every time. You have to activate the uh, the bolt every time. And then you got different triggers for different effects. The basic is full auto, so you just pull the trigger, then as long as you hold it down, you can keep shooting. You got semi-auto, which is one pull, one shot. You got spooling, which I'm using on this gun. What that means is that the barrels will t uh, take a couple seconds to spin up, and then once they get to full speed, it'll start shooting, and there's a very high rate of fire. And then you got two round bursts and three round bursts. Obviously, one pull of triggers, two shots for two round bursts, three shots for three round bursts. And then there's different kinds of ammunition you can use. There's the basic slug, there's a Tesla, which is electrified, and that actually, if you shoot into a group, when one person gets hit, it'll chain off of him to hit other people in the group. I'm currently using Pyro because that sets people on fire and they can run around and set other people on fire. And then you've got this healing type of ammunition here and then you've got buff ammo. And what's nice is you can actually test things out before you actually use them. Which is pretty sweet. So, oh, my character was in his underwear while his clothes loaded up. So they set up these targets for you. And you're going to start blasting away at them. So then there's my scope. But I don't have very good aimed accuracy because of the type of stock that I'm using. It gives me better hip fire accuracy at the cost of aimed accuracy. So you just hit escape to get back out of that. I can go back. I don't want to save that. Uh, rocket launchers have some different options. Like they have the basic cage barrel here. I've got this one called the tube, which uh, reduces the blast radius. It's a little quicker to reload, so I figured that was handy. This is actually my primary weapon on the profile that I usually play on because, um, and hopefully you'll see this when I load a game up for you. When the round starts, everyone is grouped up in the middle. And. Obviously, if you have a high damage weapon right off the bat, like a rocket launcher, you'll be able to hopefully kill somebody before you get blown up yourself. Uh, then you have these various other options. You got double barrel rocket launcher, so you... Every, the more rockets you load up into it, the smaller the rockets are, the less damage they're going to do. So you're going to do a little bit less damage with a, uh, a two rocket barrel. And it's going to keep getting smaller with a tri rocket barrel and whatnot. You got this nice big heavy heavy barrel for a larger blast radius. And you got a quad barrel. And five and six shot barrels. And yes, you can in fact put full auto and spooling triggers on here. You also have the option for a salvo, which can then launch a whole bunch of uh, rockets at once, but you obviously have to have one of the multi-shot barrels. There are the various different stocks on here, including an exhaust port, which reduces the recoil on your rocket launchers, but re requires uh, greater stability to aim accurately. I don't actually use that. I don't think shooting one shot out of here is going to be a big deal, so that's probably more an issue if you're going to be using multi-shot uh, rocket launcher barrels. So I just use the standard one. And this also has a laser guidance system. As long as I keep the laser pointed at something, it'll keep trying to move in that direction. You can also have a remote control, so that you shoot your rocket and then you manually steer it. Um, that can actually be pretty broken in some situations, I have to say. And then you've got the various scopes and scanners that you can get on the other weapons. And then there are a bunch of different options here for the ammunition. Of course, you got the standard Slug, Tesla, Health, Pyro, Juice. You got a basic rocket, you've got the Agile rocket, which gives you more maneuverability. Since I'm using a laser guidance system, I figure a more maneuverable rocket would be a good idea. Uh, lobbed, which means basically it becomes a grenade launcher. Corkscrew, apparently it does a little bit less damage, uh, it looks pretty cool. And then they got Super Slow, which does a lot more damage, has high maneuverability, but obviously something that moves that slow has the disadvantage of being fairly dodgeable. And you got all these different options. Uh, one thing that I kind of like on here is Wave, which is basically anime missile option. So that it 
flies around in a really weird pattern. And then you've got these options for when it explodes. You got impact, so it explodes as soon as it hits something, or you can have bounce. Or it can stick to something, and you can use it to make a mine. Now, there is actually an option for, I think, a proximity timer. Oh, and then you got this rebounding one. So yeah, th these explode on contact. You can have them detonate manually. So you can set, say, uh, basically like a, a remote control bomb or a timer. Or proximity, if you want to make landmines. And then you can have it just flat out explode, or you can have it disperse shrapnel. Or you can have it split apart into multiple bombs, which is actually kind of cool too. There's also beam weapons and pulse weapons. Pulse weapons shoot like sticky spiked balls. And beam weapons obviously shoot lasers out of them, which can do damage or can heal, uh, just same as any weapon. Um, you can set up different loadouts. There are three different characters that you can play as. This is T-Bone. You can also play as Axel, who is basically an exaggerated 80s comic book action star. And you've got this lovely lady here, Helga. Uh, there are different kinds of grenades you can get, but I haven't unlocked any of those yet. I've mostly been focusing on my guns. Now, this is where some of the premium content comes in. Because anything cosmetic is going to cost you money. You want them to have a cigar, it's going to cost you some of the in-game currency. Or rather, some of the premium currency. And you have all these different accessories. Now, you can take a look at them before you purchase them, which is nice change his facial hair around. It's got a beard can sticking out of it there. Um, what's nice is that when you play your first round of the day, or see the player win, I think it's play. If you play your first round, uh, you get a bonus chest at the end of the game. Usually it contains the in-game currency, which is called Blutes. But sometimes it'll, con it'll contain these cosmetic items, like this half shirt that this handsome gentleman is wearing which is what he's currently wearing. Uh, normally, he would wear that. And all these different little cosmetic options here, all, all premium. And then you have different taunts. That's the basic one. And you can preview all these. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, my son will love this. Yes, Gungam style, which took the world by storm. I still don't understand it. It's the one I'd like to do. <laughs> oh, and I got that one too. That was a little bonus, I think, for liking their Facebook page or something like that. I might actually use that. Oh, this was good too. A little Michael Jackson action for you. And yes, for the trolls out there, I actually have to go back in and uh, give him that taunt. There. And then here's your tech tree. This is another way you can look at all the different unlocks that you can purchase. Equipment down here, you can get personal shields, you can change to healing grenades or Tesla grenades, fire grenades, buff grenades, like, like you can with the ammunition. Jump boots, disguises, I haven't actually messed around with any of these things yet, but they're there. And here's where you purchase stuff in the store. Now, what's nice is that you can't actually purchase weapon unlocks. You actually still have to play the game to do that. You can buy bonuses for experience and loot gains, but you still have to go in and actually earn them. 
You can buy a loadout and gun slots, and you can buy new avatars, which shows up in the uh, lobby. Uh, sometimes you'll even get these out of the uh, uh, loot crates. But enough about that, let's get into the game. So you got these casual games, you got ranked games, which apparently now you need to get to level 10 to use. Um, I haven't actually touched any of that yet, but we'll go into casual. And they got some pretty interesting uh, game modes in here. Uh, they have one called Attraction, where one person on each team is designated the Collector. You have to pick up these chunks of mineral called Plutonium and put them into uh, the uh, Collection Totes. And the Collector is assigned at random. If the Collector dies, it's randomly selected as another person on the team. And whoever gets to the score limit first is the winner. Um, they have Death Snatch, where you kill the opposing players, then you have to pick up an item that they drop, which is, I think, uh, supposed to be some kind of plutonium as well. And you have to reach a score limit on that. Um, Blitz. <laughs> it's sort of a control point thing. You capture the control point, you raise the boxers, and then they give you another control point to... Uh... <clears throat> oh, here we go with distraction. They give you another control point they got to capture. They have Domination, which is your basic control point map. You control, you uh, capture points. Uh, those generate uh, points for you. The team with the highest score uh, wins. Seven, six, five, four, all right, here we go. Three, See, all clustered two, in the middle. One. You are the collector. Yeah, I was the collector, and I died horribly. All right, let's switch to Vera. Yay, we scored. So there's a little plutonium things you gotta pick up, and you gotta drop them in these totes. And try to kill the enemy collector as well. And hope they don't pick up healing boxes when you're shooting at them. And the injuries you'll sustain are extremely comical. Oh, before I forget, um, there's also a mode called Jackhammer, which is capture the flag, but with a twist. The flag is actually a giant energized hammer, and you can smash people with the hammer. And as you smash people, the hammer is then worth more points when you score. Although there's a limit to how many people you can smash, they can only use it like five times. But um, you'll see a lot of very over-the-top bleeding, as well as. Injuries that you would think are fatal and are somehow not. Uh, you'll see flesh stripped off of your character's arms, flesh stripped off of their legs. Their heads can get blown off. The brain and eyes will still be there. Oh, oh, that didn't go well. Your brain and eyes will still be there, but you'll have no head. Oh, and I should probably actually show you my rocket launcher as well, how it's laser guided. The score is now tied. Yeah, that probably wasn't a great example, but this is why I like to stick to Vera. Score posted. You are in the lead. I'm a little disappointed that I got killed so quick as a collector. I usually do fairly well. <laughs> I guess it's it's just some bad luck. I stepped in the wrong spot. I was right in somebody's sights. Uh, I forget what the score limit is. I think it's 3,000. So we're about halfway there. You can hear my barrel spinning up when I pull the trigger, so there's like a, a slight delay before I actually start firing. That's a pulse gun there. You can see all those spiky projectiles. Oh, 
Long range, not very good for miniguns. Oh, that didn't go well. See, you just took my arm off. <laughs> I have flesh stripped off of my leg. I guess we can file that under major injury under reaction. Yep, fire continues to do damage even after I'm not shooting him anymore. Ooh. Somebody's got a shotgun or a sniper rifle of some kind. Okay, now I gotta find plutonium. Uh, you can also throw the plutonium at enemy players. Alright, now I'm like totally completely useless this time around. Um, the plutonium will explode if it hits the enemy player. I have yet to do that because I generally prefer to actually advance the point total of my team. It's, uh, so far what I've seen is 4v4. I haven't seen any larger games. And it's pretty ridiculous. Quite a bit of fun. The enemy has five captures remaining. Oh, they got ahead of us again. The enemy uh, there was some exploding plutonium right there. The enemy lead has grown. Oops. Because I hit myself with my own rocket. Not usually very safe. The enemy has three captures remaining. Eh, and I just got blown to bits. <laughs> the enemy has two captures remaining. I guess we're gonna lose this round. Oh well. The enemy Can't win them all. One capture remaining. The enemy lead has ah, I still got the guy too. Oh well. And then they, they show the player rankings on the w winning team here. The MVP is the guy out in front. And they can all do their little taunts. That's actually the players doing that. <laughs> so that's loadout, everybody. Again, it's free to play, available on Steam. Uh, here's my daily prize. Let's see if I get anything good. 250 blutes. Oh well. But hey, I've got over 4,000 blutes now. Cool. So yeah, uh, free to play. It's available on Steam, so I highly suggest that you uh, go out and get it. My name is Mythical Daka, and I'll see you next time.